Today, we have Sarah with us who's made $1.9 million in sales in just three months, right? She's a real estate broker. Let's go talk to her and find out how she did it. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dave. Let's hear from you. What do you do? Introduce yourself pretty much to everyone. Yeah, so my name is Sarah Kaur, and I'm a real estate broker here in uh, in Alberta, Canada. So I'm licensed in Ontario and so in Alberta as well. Nice, so, nice. And let's hear from yeah. you. What type of results have you actually achieved since you've actually come to get help from me in the last three months? So I really um, got help on my confidence level, especially on my energy, uh, staying positive, and uh, and my sales increased 1.9 million. 1.9 million in, in how long? In three months. Fantastic. How do you feel about that? It's great. Awesome. Okay, great. So, Sarah, today we'll just have a bit of a chat. People might be wondering, you know, some people like yourself, you know, they might be in the real estate. They, they, they might not be as confident. So, let's go back in time. Let's go back in time a little bit, right? So, yeah. Sarah, what were you feeling before you came to me for help, right? What was the mm -hmm. problem you're actually getting that time? Right. Can you just go back in time a little bit and talk about some of the problems you were having? Yeah, sure. Um, I was so uh, in doubt. I, I used to doubt on myself that and then I was not celebrating uh, my wins in proper way. So my mindset was, uh, you know, was a little negative. And even though if I have done a great, a great work or any sale, for example, if I say um, I did two sales or three sales or five sales, then um, I I wasn't able, um, I wasn't saying it in positive way. I was not talking in positively to myself. So I was just like, okay, you know, I just did four sales last week. I just did three sales last week instead of, um, instead of, um, you know, uh, enjoying the moment uh, with the confidence saying that, oh yes, I did it. Actually, I did it. I did very well, but I was not speaking with my speaking myself with positive ways. So mm. that is, uh, I'm learning slowly. I'm learning again, still like there's a room for improvement, but that helps a lot. Yeah. And what did that do to your sales? Were you able to close sales or were you sort of not, not able to close sales? Um, no, like after, um, Working on my, like you're having guidance from you closely, um, it has improved my sales. And before, 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 what were you feeling about your sales that uh, from a scale of one to 10, let's talk about this, right? Scale of one to 10, what was your confidence level before and what is your confidence level now? Yeah, confidence level was uh, there, like I would say six, but now I would say 10. Excellent, right? And uh, there's always room to to improve. We'll, we'll go beyond that as well, okay? So right. one curious question people may have, like you were also already in real estate for a while. You were already also doing some sales, you know? But why reach out? Why did you feel that, hey man, I need some help? You know, yeah. why did you reach out to me? Why did you feel that I was a person that I can help you? Just, I'm, I'm also really curious. Yeah, actually, Whenever I make a win or whenever there was a successful story or any sales I made in past, I was I was scared to, um, you know, celebrate it. There was an inner feeling that I used to be like very scared of it. And, uh, you know, like that pattern was going on and on. And then sometimes like you have helped me a lot, but sometimes I do jump back and then come back on the on the right track with your help but um, that was like you know I, I have a fear in me that if I celebrated I might lose it so that was a fear that I was living I even um, even do like you know help many families like you know I was uh, never celebrated and then the moment is just like less than a second the mm. moment will go up yeah. And, and, so, and now, um, now, how do you feel? Now I'm acknowledging more. I'm mm. gaining that, you know, uh, and then I'm grateful for that uh, universe. And then plus, um, of course, to you as well. Mm. 
Nice. Yeah. And you've actually taken action as well, which, which is which is really, really good. good okay. So let's go back in yes. time again, because I, uh, you were saying at that point of time, hey, uh, cannot find leads, cannot close sales, could not position yourself that, hey, people didn't understand what you were doing, right? Tell us a little bit about that that side of what is the problem around when you're trying to tell people what do you do, make an offer, close? How did you feel and what are some of the problems you were having that time? Yeah, I was messing around with um, with uh, with finding the right, you know, the right energy, right time, and then uh, trying to find uh, was not actually great in finding other people's solve finding a problem like pain. So that really, you know, improved. Right now, hmm. I, um, yeah. So now, for example, if people need to sort of. Uh know who you are are you able to tell someone more clearly uh, how do you position yourself who what do you help them with uh, did you get some techniques in terms of how to close the sale follow up the leads talk to us about that like what what changed that helped you close the sale what happened now the techniques you got that you actually were able to close sales? if if there was like you can just share some of the things as, as well what did you learn um i learned to go more deep in their problems okay and why does that help you close sales no now there's no it's not a thing that like it's going to force close a sale it more my more my mission is to learn people's pro, uh, to understand people's problem and to find a solution to their problem hmm. and sales is like you know it's that last part it's not that but if the person is served first like if they feel relieved speaking with me and then their problems are getting solved speaking ah, nice nice so how did you get that how did you feel did you feel in any way that i was able to help you in that aspect as well um yes understanding acknowledging my words especially uh, stay positive and uh, that helped me a lot if i'm not going to solve myself my problems then how i can help others so that is something uh, kind of a great awareness that I got it from you so most right. likely it's more emotional like to work emotional damage I have done to myself <laughs> yeah yeah but no more emotional yeah. damage right and no, no, no. what about the techniques in terms of like calling out falling out with people understanding the process did you get clarity on that as well by coming through this uh this mentorship here uh yes that a consistency is the is always a key to success. So, yeah, uh, I was not scaling. I was not numbering, and then I was not uh, recording my my sales. Uh, mm. Sometimes I skip today uh, and these days as well. Uh, I have to be very honest. <laughs> and then, but uh, but it's a lot of improvements. Yes. Nice, nice. So let's talk about last two weeks. You also closed some sales in the last two weeks. What is the sale in the just the last two weeks that you just did? Uh, it was close to nine hundred k. Nine hundred k, amazing. This mm -hmm. is Canadian dollars, right? Canadian dollars. Yes. Excellent. Awesome. Awesome. So so just um, uh, we've, we've spoken about your results. Now let's talk about you know you've reached out. Right. You've asked yeah. me, I've got all these problems, you know, yeah. can you share a little bit of your personal experiences in your own words? OK, how did you feel the experience was with me helping you? Uh, was I patient, not patient? Were I able to give you clarity? Just just talk it out so people can understand, you know, that mm -hmm. people might be like yourself going through certain things and they might be looking for, hey, I'm not sure. So what was going through your head? How did you get that help? Just can you elaborate that a little bit? Um, yeah, so your question was so long, so can you please say it again? That's okay. So how did you feel coming working with me, right? Mm -hmm. Did you get the help you need from me? And how did, oh, you, yes. feel, how did you feel the approach was? Uh, the approach was like, you know, you was always there and then it's not like that sometimes you listen and then, you know, like I share my problem with you and then you hear it out. And then afterwards, like mm -hmm. there is uh, there is a moment that where I'm getting my lesson and then the power back. So this is something like I'm 
I'm sending something your way and then you have helped me uh, in a lot way better to approach in nicer and greatest way instead of like, you know, it's only me that I can help out. So, um, so it definitely like you hear out properly and you, uh, the one thing I have, I'm very, uh, you know, that I want to share with you that um, that makes you unique, that whatever I feel it, uh, whatever my question was, like you have changed it completely personalized uh, instead of like, you know, this is my thing and then you follow these steps. Instead of that, like uh, you twist and turn like a little bit about all according to my needs and requirements that where I'm lacking most instead of uh, the rooms that I need to work on for my improvements you know uh, you worked very well on those areas that I needed much help that I was not aware of it why, um, before even though like living your own life without knowing you where you are lacking it's you make that uh, you know understand and then realize it and then awareness mm -hmm. i would use awareness so that i'm very grateful for yeah thank you for thank you, you. It, feels, it feels nice to to see that you're getting the results as well and uh, happy to continue helping you know like how we're talking right now so mm -hmm. one also aspect is you were willing to actually take it on and the feedback mm. I'm giving you are willing to open with open arms, say, hey, give me feedback. And you're willing to change, which is which mm. is a very big sign in actually growing as well. Right. So if uh, were there any doubts in your mind, you know, before coming in to say, I need help from from Sukhdev, I need help from Dev Sethi, do you like were there any doubts you had and 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 what was it and how did you overcome it? Just just talk to me around that. Um, yeah, as uh, as I explained, uh, I I had a doubt. I was not sure, like you know, if you can help me understanding me, but but you did it, and then I'm glad that you did understand. And then really, sales is not like you know. We, I was closing sales before I closed sales, uh, meeting you, but uh, after meeting you, but what happens is the enjoyment, the your journey, and then how I enjoy working, and then how uh, it make more like you know. Um, I'm more aware like most as before uh, not just it's just not a sales it's just like connecting people solving their problems is it's uh, something that we need to focus on so that has uh, you know changed a lot like I have worked very, real, very you nice. worked really hard on me yeah no, thank no, you very that. nice no thank you thank you it's it's good to good to hear that back as well and uh, happy to help you so look uh, if if other people are thinking I'm not sure this is not going to happen. It's going to be, uh, I can't get the results. I'm not sure. Is it easy? Is it hard? Like, what would you actually say to people listening here that is it the right thing to move ahead? Is it not the right thing? Like, just sort of what are your words for them? So I always, I, re, I recently, like, you know, uh, you keep reminding me too, but, and then I, I, I apply on myself again. So I really work on those things that on my words that don't feel like that way that makes you sad. Mm. So that is something. Uh, and then I, in another words, like, you know, I was used to find out like um, from my, my clients the same way that if thinking of that way, it's not helping you, then why, why think anymore? Mm, that's true so if other people are thinking this what would your words of encouragement or words of advice to them would be whether uh, what is it i would say like you know it's um it's only you that you can help yourself it's only you you can take action towards yourself it's only you that you can um improve there's no magic and unless until like you know it's a great help that you are getting help with by your mentor or coach that is guiding you you must have in your real life as well um everybody like go through with their own you know psychological problems things the way they think um the environmental facts they go through with 
but uh, there's something that is like you know you gotta be staying positive nice so how happy if we were to say on a scale of one to ten how happy one being the least happy 10 being the amazing happy how happy are you with the help that you got from me to get your results I am actually, I'm pretty much, uh, I will give you 9.9 .9 <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I'm happy. And why why, why not a 2, why not a 3, why not a 4? Uh, we stayed, uh, why not 2 and 3? Because the problems that you have solved, that was not, um, I wish like if, uh, you know, one of my family members can have paid attention and resolved it as like, you know, this was an ongoing thing that the scare city, I would say, and then not the procrastination, but uh, it's just like, you know, not being positive with my own self and then not celebrating my own wins, even though I have gone through whatever I've gone through, right? So, uh that's why like you made it that uh it's nobody that who ha has done for you like you know it was uh you had a right and great approach to make me understand that that's why i'm not saying two okay <laughs> yeah that, that's that's, so that's it, it, that, yeah that's uh that's very hardest and toughest part to make someone realize like where you are not right what things you are doing wrong and then you make the person accept it, right? Mm. Good. Well done. Well done. So let's let's hear your results once again, Sarah. What are the results in terms of sales you were able to make since you've actually come into this uh, help from me? Yeah, so almost 2 million, uh, Mr. Dev, I can say. Uh, 1.9 recorded on books. We did a sale, yes, improved in my sales. And how much more is going to come now? Can you believe oh, that? Can you see that? What do you feel? Yeah. More than billions, billions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And now, now people are also really clear about what you do. Are you clear on actually going out there and telling someone what do you do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. So Sarah, if people wanted to find out more about you, where can they reach out to you? So I'm easily reachable on uh, social media. Just have to type the Sarakar. And uh, the my most niche that I, what I do is that I help families to find their first home. And then from that journey, and then I've turned many families that they have bought first time and becomes investor. And they are regularly investing in uh, real estate. Great. And this is in Alberta, Canada, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Uh, it's, awesome. Yeah. It is in, uh, right now, it is in uh, Alberta, Canada, Cal Calgary. Nice, nice work. So, hey, thanks for your time today, Sarah. Wish you all the best to many, many mm -hmm. more millions to come. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.